Hey everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you everything I eat in a day to stay lean, fit, and healthy and keep a flat belly, all while eating an unlimited amount of carbohydrates, including fruit, sugar, and starch. So let's get into it. All right, I am starting the day with a clementine pre-workout. All right, I just did 20 minutes on my spin bike, and now I'm going to have some watermelon with lime. Just eat as much as I want, and then move on. My, my baby really has it. You got by green. green what green. green sour patch kid uh -huh. is it yummy uh -huh. my favorite kind is the blue what's your favorite blue. you like the blue ones uh -huh. okay so something that I have not talked a whole lot about yet and just kind of recently I discovered uh, a secret to making this lifestyle work and it's something that gets discussed sometimes but really like it takes all the pillars that I discuss which is you know eating the high carb low fat diet um, getting enough sleep drinking enough water and doing fitness it makes all of these work better for you and that is managing your stress level so and you manage your stress level with the with the diet with staying hydrated with exercise and with sleeping enough so one of the main contributors to belly fat is having elevated stress levels elevated cortisol and this phenomenon happens because when we're in a state of stress our hormone response in our body is different. It is primed for fat storage. When our body senses a stressful situation, we store fat because our body just automatically assumes, hey, we're in a stressful situation. We're going to need excess energy to deal with this stressful situation. So how do you down regulate that hormonal response, that cortisol release, uh, that elevated cortisol. And some people even exhaust their cortisol levels and that's what adrenal fatigue is where you've exhausted yourself to the point where you're not even producing cortisol anymore. So how do you get back to being in a relaxed state so that you can switch off the fat storage and turn on the fat burning? It all has to do with you being chill <laughs> and this sounds so simple but there's so many things that we do in our life that elevate stress like not sleeping enough not eating enough carbohydrates not drinking enough water doing too much exercise and the counter side to that is not doing enough exercise because exercise a healthy amount of low intensity enjoyable exercise down regulates stress hormones and equals your flat belly so that is my secret to getting a flat belly so just recently my body has went through somewhat of a transformation where it is now starting to lose body fat and it's because I finally figured out how to manage my stress with my diet hydration sleep and exercise so I've gotten myself into trouble before not sleeping enough I've gotten myself into trouble before over exercising I've gotten myself into trouble before not eating enough carbohydrates which for me personally is easy to do because I require a lot of carbohydrates in order to keep myself feeling 
good and relaxed. And that's because I'm a mom and I have a lot of mental energy, emotional energy, physical energy going towards taking care of my children all the time. And I've also gotten to a point with my children that they're not as um, demanding of my energy as they were. So now I can that divert some of that energy back towards myself and to doing other things. But I have a lot of stuff that I want to do, that I have to do. Um, and in order for me to keep moving forward, I have to keep chasing this feeling of being relaxed and calm and at peace. And if we reflect and study, you know, the ancient practice of yoga, which I've spent a lot of time doing, you realize that that is the goal of yoga too, is to just achieve this state. It's called samadhi. Just this state of peace and bliss. And now that I know how to maintain it with my diet, with sleep, with exercise, and by staying hydrated, it's become effortless to start losing whatever excess weight that my body needs to shed. And it makes sense because when we're holding on to, when we have stress in our body, we're holding on to it. We have to let it go. And by keeping ourselves in that relaxed state, feeding our body enough sugar, feeding our body enough carbs, fruit, potatoes, rice, pasta, drinking enough water, doing exercise that makes us feel good and sleeping enough, our body no longer is stressed out. It's like, hey, everything is good, but you have to stay on top of the diet, the hydration, the sleep, and the exercise. So that's it for this little rant. I'm glad that you guys are watching and um, hope you're enjoying the video and I'll show you guys what I'm going to have for dinner. All right. All right, I've got some lettuce, ketchup, and three huge russet potatoes on this plate as my dinner starter, and the kids will probably eat some too, so I always make a lot. So yeah, when you are in a relaxed, fed, hydrated state, that's when your body can start to burn body fat when you have a fat deficit in your diet. By keeping it carbs really high, you can naturally keep the fat content of your diet really low, below 20 grams a day. And then your body just over time, month after month, of keeping this cycle going, it just keeps your metabolism super high. Um, yeah, you shed all the unwanted excess weight that you've been trying to shed. And it's an absolutely enjoyable wonderful process. I also wanted to mention that everything that I show you guys that I'm eating, oh look, you see me in the mirror, or in the window, I eat until I'm satisfied. So sometimes it might be a few bites, a handful, sometimes it might be a whole bunch of whole bunch of what I'm showing you. So most of the time I'm eating everything that I'm showing you. Like I ate all those dates today. I ate almost the whole watermelon. Um, and then the Sour Patch Kids, I ate a few handfuls of those. Uh, I ate all the rice cakes. I drank all my smoothie, shared some with the kids. Um, yeah, so I'm eating until I am completely satisfied and my digestion has just been amazing. Um, yeah, sugar for the win. Like, it has really enhanced my digestion. That and adding, having salt in my diet, too. Alright, I'm gonna chow this down. Alright, now I'm gonna have a big bowl of rice with some soy sauce and nori wraps. I've also been stacking on some of these carrots, and there were some cucumbers here earlier, and I dipped them in some salsa, so that's like the remains. Sorbet time. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!